my, my screen, my new one, yeah, so I found this uh, ancient HP uh, LCD thrown out, here's the bezel, it's uh, one of those uh, F1503 15 inch uh, jobbies, made in 2003, and um, found thrown out without a power supply and without uh, a video cable, but that's no big. So I had my power supply from this other monitor here, same 12 volts and everything. And I plugged the thing in, and here's the little power board, and nothing lit up on it. And uh, I said, okay, this thing might be dead. Now, it was left out in the rain, but I did leave it sit for a whole week, and I don't know. I... Uh, plugged it in and I got this uh, burning smell coming out of it. So I opened her up and here's the problem. Or rather that's what I fixed of the problem. I have the piece in the garbage can. The thing for the inverter for the top uh, top tube, because there's one at the top and the bottom on this, had failed and there's no other traces on the board so I just took a pair of wire cutters and just cut it the fuck out and uh, it doesn't smoke anymore and it actually fucking works. The other backlight tube uh, actually lights up and does seem to work and I'll give you a demo but what I'm going to do is just cinch this thing back together a couple of screws here and there and tie her back down and uh, I won't even bother putting the bezel on for now and then I'll give you a quick demo of it and uh, that's how you redneck fix uh, an LCD screen. Now I had two other ideas here um, it's possible there's enough juice in this inverter uh, circuit that I could actually just jump it right over to the other one and light the other tube up. Of course, I don't know if that tube is good or not. Uh, the other option is the, uh, the, the cold cathode uh, lights that are sold for PCs. Uh, it has a very similar inverter in it, which does take 12 volts in, and I'm pretty sure this is all running off 12 volts. If not, I have 12 volts feeding the entire screen as it is, so I'll just make my own circuit off of that, and uh, that I'll just tie right into the uh, wires to the tube, and uh, that would uh, that would fire the other one. In fact, I could do that for both if, if, uh, if the other one starts to go over here. But anyway, I'm going to button this up and give you a demo. Okay, we're back. So here's the screen back in its casing. The uh, wire goes to the supply over here. The plug, and I'll let you watch the screen. Doesn't look too appetizing so far, but there you go. Now you tell me that's not a redneck fix. It's not perfect, it still has some, some slight knackeredness to it. Uh, in that uh, when it does enter power saving mode, which it'll do in roughly a minute, we'll wait for that, the screen turns white and it kind of fades to white at that, and uh, the backlight seems to stay on, and at that point you can also see that the backlight tube at the top is uh, certainly not firing. So we'll just wait here. But uh, it is on and working. There you go. We got a yellow LED. And if you look, the top of it is kind of dimmer than the bottom, but still serviceable for some, you know, for some degrees of service monitor or something like that. Still, uh, still somewhat good. You know, I mean, what do you need to see on a screen anyway, you know? But what worries me is that the backlight actually does stay lit, even in this low power, although that may change when it's hooked up to a PC. Who knows how uh, HP decided to knacker this. But uh, I knew somebody who had an LCD screen with one bad tube for a long time, and they just kept on using it. It was fine. You kind of got to ignore it. But uh, anyway, that's my free garbage picked LCD. Just got to rig up a power supply for it. And if for some reason...
So anyway, I'm sorry the other video got cut off and then the phone rang and all kinds of good shit, but here we are right back together. It's on, lights up blue. You can change things around, all the angles and shit. It goes all different directions. You can even squash her down like that if you wanted. And then it comes up, and that all works good. And I curiously have this sticker. It said, this product was a store display model or a customer return that has been previously opened and may have been serviced to ensure your satisfaction. It contains the same warranty coverage as a factory sale sealed item. We reduced the selling price to create an additional value to our customers, but there's no information as far as where this is from. I guess OB would be open box or something. But, uh, so this, you know, this thing was just knackered to, from the get-go, but, you know, there you are, and she works again. But what I was saying was if the, uh, I, I could use the little inverter for the, for the PC, um, the, uh, the, the, the PC, uh, desktops have the, uh, cold cathode fluorescence, and they use a very similar inverter, and I could jam that probably in the back of the screen. There's tons of room in this thing. It's huge compared to a laptop screen. And uh, I could jam that in there. I already have 12 volts. I make my own circuit for that. And uh, what I was also saying is that if I can't seem to find another uh, little switch mode power supply like this, uh, there's actually a couple of options. One, this is, uh, let's see, that puts out 3 amps, and that's about what this thing needs. I think it's at 2.5. But um, your typical drive, hard drive adapter, say to IDE to USB, would have uh, something that puts out 12 and 5 volts. So even 15 bucks, even if you throw away the rest of it, which, you know, there's no need to do, would probably make a suitable pa power supply for that. And if not, it's not even a big deal because I just have tons of other power supplies. Just strap one of these on the back, make it look like a CRT, and there's your 12 volts at however many amps you need. So you could redneck it. Ah, uh, yeah. Awesome. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to leave that sit around and test it out uh, one day in the future and see how bad it is with only the one backlight. And uh, if it's too bad, I'll open it up and uh, see if I get the other one fired up. But uh, other than that, keep on choochin' in the free world. It's too early for this, but certainly not for this. It's Tuesday morning, and it is 7.52 a.m., and we are having a breakfast beer. Remember, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Don't skip it. Anyhow, uh, today's breakfast is brought to you by my screen, my new one. And uh, here we are. We're going to test her out. I got the new video cable. So, uh, I don't have it hooked up to the PC yet. I have the power plugged into the monitor. I'll plug it in the outlet. It turns on. We have the same message. So now I'm just going to put that down a second and plug this thing in here. Let's see. This way. Okay, it blanked out and then blipped and we're back to that. It went into low power mode. It was doing that before. Putting power into the PC. This is where it sat in low power mode. On PC on. Green. There you go. Fucking works. I just restored this thing. I haven't booted it since. Boy, it sure is ugly when it does that. That's not cool. That's probably going to be the one outlasting thing. Wow. Pre service pack 2. Haven't seen that in years. She's booting up for the first time. Yep, absolutely. Certainly is dimmer at the top, but certainly looks to be serviceable.
Yeah, yeah. These good old power specs just take fucking forever starting up after a full restore if you actually have recovery media for them still. But anyway, that gives me more time to enjoy my beer. Oh, it's still loading. Oh, this is exciting now. Let's see if we can actually invoke the menu. Oh, yeah. I don't know how it works. The buttons are kind of stiff. Or maybe they don't work at all. Here's an auto button. Oh, I did something. It is adjusting, it just is too quick. Okay, that moves up and down. Well, down anyway. Boy, these buttons are terrible. I'll have to spray them with contact cleaner, I guess. Uh, let's see if we could go into advanced. Oh, we can. Color. Okay, well, I'll reseal this. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Probably going to put it in a service pack and get my apps loaded on it and that. I don't think it's supposed to fade white like that, but... Then again, LCDs were not... Uh, terribly advanced back in the day, so you never do know that uh, that may have been normal for then, or possibly as the screen ages and other components in the thing wear out. But anyway, I'm going to shut this down, and then i got to fucking go to work. So, anyway, here's the video for today. Keep on choo-choo.